flames are going everywhere. And by the time we got back, well, there was nothing left. We basically have lost everything. Scattered items, dust and rubble are all that are left of Richard Murray's home now. The ashes mark the scene of devastation at the site where Murray's home stood for many decades. Powered by strong winds and fueled by high temperatures, a wild inferno is burning down buildings, cattle and livelihoods across the Texas Panhandle, the northernmost area of Texas in the United States. Many, like Richard Murray, sift through the ashes. They had tried desperately to save their homes from the furious blaze. But all they could do was to watch it all go up in flames. You know, it was heartbreaking. Uh, it's our home. Uh, and, and not just us, we're, we're in a good situation, but there's other families, you know, and, and they're, they're really gonna hurt, really gonna hurt. And all the ranchers around. The Texas wildfire is the biggest blaze in the state's history so far. Across the Central Plains, around 8 million people are under red flag warnings. The temperatures are above normal in the Texas Panhandle. And the devastation is far from over. As the inferno is expected to spread more rapidly, with ferocious winds and dry air fueling the flames. It marks another year and another record-breaking wildfire in the United States. But the US is not alone. In this episode of Wide Angle, we tell you why wildfires need our attention. From their cause to their impact, wildfires threaten homes, lives and security. A wildfire is an unplanned and unpredictable fire in an area of combustible vegetation. Wildfires can start with a natural event, like a lightning strike or a human-made spark. But regardless of how it starts, it is the weather conditions that determine how much a wildfire spreads. The northern parts of the United States is home to some of the world's densest forests. It's also the reason why it experiences wildfires every year. Texas is currently battling its most shattering wildfire season on record. The blaze, known as the Smokehouse Creek Fire, has scorched over one million acres in the Texas Panhandle, making it one of the largest in the U.S. history. Racing across dry grasslands and residential areas, it destroyed cattle ranches, killing at least two people and thousands of cattle. Wildfires in the Texas Panhandle forced residents to flee their homes and seek shelter. The Celebration Family Church in the small town of Fritch, Texas, offered people and their pets a place to spend the night. We had 50 plus people um, that has come through. We've tried to keep everybody's name, but at one point there was just so many coming in mm -hmm. and some of them would come in to use the restroom but go back out in their car because they had their animals. Oh, yeah. But we had animals here too. We really? had goats and horses and rabbits really? and cats and dogs.
The Smokehouse Creek fire started on the 26th of February. It spread around the town of Canadian, a cattle country community of about 2,200 people northeast of Amarillo, near the Oklahoma border. Within a couple of days, the fire spread across vast swaths of ranch lands in the Panhandle. The fire has been burning across a sparsely populated area of Texas that is home to most of the state's cattle, millions of cows, calves, steers and bulls. Wildfires are nothing new for Panhandle ranchers, many of whom know how to use makeshift fire trucks to fight a blaze. Wide swaths of the grassland that Texas cattle rely on for food are charred. Thousands of cattle are dead or injured. Supporters of farmers and ranchers delivered donations to those affected by the wildfire in Texas. The donations of hay and cattle feed for the stricken farmers and supplies for the firefighters were dropped off at a supply point in Pampa in northwest Texas. In most of Texas, wildfires happen in summer, but in the Panhandle, the fire risk is highest around March when the temperatures rise. Strong winds blow over the flat landscape and the dry grass can easily catch fire. The fuels that burn in the wildfire typically have grown during the previous summer when there's rainfall. And then we have hard freezes and they go dormant or dead in the wintertime and things green up again, typically around April and May, but uh, you have this window of time when temperatures are going up and you get these occasional uh, storm systems that bring strong winds and dry air from the desert southwest, where basically all the ingredients are put in place for rapidly spreading wildfires. So uh, West Texas, our wildfire season peaks in March rather than in the middle of the summer. Other parts of the United States also continue to experience extreme weather. Thousands of kilometers away, a powerful blizzard battered the states of California and Nevada. The snowstorm has already closed major roads and ski resorts in the two states and left thousands without power. These extreme weather events are occurring against the backdrop of the 2023 to 2024 winter season, which is being called the warmest on record for large stretches of the United States. 